Hi, family. So, let's talk about this quote, okay? Because <laughs> this right here has been a task, a legit task. Um, slightly vulnerable moment. Sometimes I am so hinged upon figuring out am I communicating effectively enough to get my point across that it becomes a hindrance to me even doing the things that I really enjoy, which is making videos, right? Well, kind of. I enjoy sharing the information rather. <laughs> so this is me pushing, all right? Moving, we're gonna strive. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, so yesterday's quote was the following. However, the narrative that I created in my mind told me yeah. So that statement got me thinking about the word threshold, right? And more importantly, the definition to the word threshold, which I'm going to share with you. Okay, so threshold can be defined as the place of entry, a point of beginning. Beginning. The point or level at which a physical or mental effect begins to be produced. I'm going to read that last one just one more good, one more good time because, mm -hmm, yeah. The point or level at which a physical or mental effect begins to be produced. So, thresholds. In the context of this conversation, I am thinking about the effects of unfavorable situations, right? My car broke down. I lost my job. I'm in a court case. I got called for jury duty. My boyfriend called me and was mad about something that I really don't, I don't have the capacity for right now. Whatever, 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 right? Unfavorable situations. You had the passing of a loved one. Unfavorable situations, right? But how it delivers us to thresholds, right? And I mean ways of thinking right there are positive ways of thinking and there are negative ways of thinking right and specifically i'm thinking about the negative threshold and how sometimes when we enter into the negative threshold remember place of entry we don't come out of it so see it's human to enter into a negative line of thinking it happens right what becomes the issues when we stay there? And it got me thinking about alternative real alternative realities, right? And how we will walk into, we will cross the threshold and not come back out of it. And it will warp our sense of reality, right? Think about the definition, threshold, point of beginning, place of entry. The place where a mental or physical effect begins to be produced. So, if I decide to walk through this negative threshold, right? But I stay behind it. Now, everything that comes from the outside in goes through this negative screen, right? All of the positive things now have a negative connotation attached to it, right? And it got me thinking about how dangerous that is because whatever threshold you decide to delight in, your imagination runs rampant. And I don't know about y'all, but my imagination gets wild sometimes. And I have to calm myself down. You know those conversations that you conjure up in your head? When you're preparing to talk to somebody, okay, I know I'm going to say this and she's probably going to respond with this. So then I'm going to hit her with this, like this, like that. And then she's going to be like, hey. And I'm going to be like, mm-hmm, check in, mate. Yeah. How you be conjuring up the conversations before they even start? Your imagination running wild? We must be careful of the negative screening and, and not to be 
imprisoned by our emotions, right? To come back to the actual place of reality and not allow this place to become our reality. When we sit behind the negative threshold and we stay there, we lose something. We lose something. We lose joy. We, lo we lose understanding. We, lo we lose connectivity, relativity, right? And I think what I'm trying to honestly get to say is, when we're in this warped reality, the lie that we're choosing to abide by becomes truth. And that's the danger. I'm never gonna make it out of this. This is too much for me to handle. This is more than what I can bear. Those lies become truths. And unknowingly, you begin to live by them. And what makes it worse is that because now there's this negative screen because you've not come, you've not exited the negative threshold. There's this negative screen there. Now, any type of truth that tries to filter through that negative screen, that negative screen now sounds like a lie. I am more than a conqueror. I can't handle this. I am intelligent enough for this. I am worthy. I am. I am. I am. Now all of those things that are actually true coming through this negative screen, they look like the lie. So I'm going to end this because this is way longer than I anticipated it being. But be intentional about your emotions and how you're handling them, right? It's okay to get into those, 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 those heavier places, but it's not okay to stay there. Come back out of the negative threshold. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's all I got for you guys today. And just so you know, I do have a video that I will post one day, I don't know when, about the positive threshold because too much of any one thing is dangerous. But, we gonna sign off. Deuces. <laughs> Ha <laughs>